In this video, we are going to continue with the binomial theorem. You will find this on page 84 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at the notation n over r in the Pascal's triangle. Okay, so to get these values. So this is 1, and then 1, 0, 1, 1. Then if this is the second row, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2. Third row, third, 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, and so on. So if this is the 6, 6, 0, 6, 1, until you are at 6, 6. Okay, so in Pascal's triangle, the terms in the row n are n0, n1, n2, up to there. Okay, let's just make it a bit bigger, which you can see better. In general, we have the binomial theorem. So if this, then don't, I start with 0. Then it's 1, 2, 3, up to n. The first term is to the power n, and then n minus 1, n minus 2. The second term is, is uh, going to be 0, and then, so it actually I could have wrote here, it's not necessary, but I could have wrote uh, b0. But usually they just leave it out. Okay, just like in this case, it will be a0. So then I just start, it's 1, 2, up to that, up to the value. So this is n minus r, okay, and this is r, and this is n, okay, for n, n. So n minus r is this term, and then this is r, okay, where n is a positive integer. Note that since n0 equals n, n is 1, the coefficients of the first term and the last terms are always both equal to 1. Now, I think this is a very good explanation. In the binomial expansion, the general term is defined as t r plus 1. So n over r, so say for example it's the second term, okay, then it, now if it's the third term, then this will be n over 2. Okay, so depending on what's the outside, and then this is n minus r, so n minus r for this one, and then this one is just r. So this is a very good formula to remember. Let's just move up. I'll show you now in practical examples. Uh, when we take a is equal to 1 and b is equal to x, we have a special case of the binomial. So say for example it's 1, so it's n1, n2, n3, this was n0, okay, that's why it's 1, and then it's going to be x, x2, up to this. This is just if the first term is a 1. Okay, but let's look, let's look at an example. It's always the best to understand it in terms of an example. So I'm going to say first, find the first four terms in the expansion in descending powers of A. Okay. Now if it's the four, so it starts always, so you calculate, now first you have to look what is this exponent. Okay. It's eight. So it's eight zero. That will be the coefficient. Okay. Then if I look, it's the first term, so it's n minus r, so this is going to be 8 minus 0. This is now showing that formula, very good. And then the second term, 0. Can I just go back? See, do you, do you see? So this was in r, and this is 0, so that's why it's 0. Then it was 8 minus 0 for that one, and that one 0. Okay. So it's 8 minus, and this one 0. So this is the first term. Then the second term, this is the first, so the second r plus 1, so it's the second term. So it's 8 minus 1, and then 2b1, and I simplify. And then the third term, this is really using that formula very nicely now. So it's going to be 8, 2, it's the third term, because it's 2 plus 1, third term. So it's 8 minus 2. Okay, so that 8 minus 2, do you see? And then just the second term, just up to 2. And this will be your third term. Okay. And then you just simplify it. So you just multiply that too. And then your fourth term, so it's 8, 3. Don't forget, it's always 1 behind. Okay. So and it's 8 minus 3 and it's 3. 
and this will be your fourth term. So the first four terms, and then I just write it out. Okay, so this is how I do it without using bus, um, Pascal's triangle. I want you to stop the video, and I just want you to do number A. Again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Let's start with number A. Now, I want actually to, to use this formula I want to show you. Uh, oh, unfortunately, I'm not having it. Okay. I want to show you that I'm just using this formula. Okay. Over and over. So it's in R. It's R plus 1 in R. So it's A, N minus R, B, R. Okay. So let's just see if I can write it down. So the formula I'm using... It's T or plus one. So in or and then it's A in minus or and then it's B just to the power of R. Can we just control to see if we are correct? So it's T, I could have just made T or plus one in or A in minus or B or. So basically, for the first four terms, I think the, okay, first write down your, your bracket. So I think my bracket will be A plus 2 and it's 12. Okay, so remember this is 12. So let's say first term. Okay, I'm doing it a little bit long and you don't have to. So it's going to be 12 and 0. And it's the first term, and it's 12 minus 0, and the second term, and it's just R, and that will just be 12. Remember, that is the R. Ah, that is just R, so it's just 0. So if I simplify, and you can press this on your calculator, so remember to press 12 um, NCR 0. And that will just give you 1. And then it's A to the power of 12, and that's 1. So that will be my first term. So my second term, you don't have to write it so long always. Just do it for now. So it's 12, and now it's plus 1, so it's 1. So 0 plus 1. So it's again A. A and then it's 12. Oh, sorry, let's just get it correct. It's 12 minus 1 and it's 2, 1. And if I simplify, press it on your calculator 12 NCR1 and I'm, I'm getting 12 and I'm getting A to the power of 11 and 2. But don't forget to multiply this, so it's 24. A11. And then your third term Okay, so this is going to be 12. Now it's 0, so it's going to be 2. And it's A, and it's 12 minus 2. And it's 2 to the power of 2. So press on your calculator. Put it right here third. Doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so it's 12 NCR 2 and that's 66. No, oh, I'm going to have it blue. And it's 8 to the power of 10 and it's 4. And I times were 4. 264. And it's a to the power of 10. Okay, and if I move it up, up then term 4, over the fourth term, and then I'm going to have 12, and now it's going to be 3, and it's a 12 minus 3, and it's 3. Ah, 
sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, it's this t the term, so it's two, and it's two, three. And then I press 12, three, and it's two, two, zero. And it's eight to the power of nine, and it's eight. Um, multiply eight. So it's one seven six zero, and it's eight to the power of nine. Okay, and then if I must write my first four terms, okay, therefore, first four terms, and then I just want to move this, so it was of. Uh, a plus 2 to the power of 12, oops, sorry, and that is equal to the first term was A12, then the second term was 24A11, and the third term was 264A10, and it was 1760A9. Okay, and there it was. There was all your terms. Okay, and that's how you do it. Not so difficult. So just use, can I just go back? Just make use of this formula when you work out the terms. Where this indicates the first term in the bracket, this is the second term. And R plus 1, so that will be the position of the terms. Okay, because you start with 0, so 0 plus 1, that will indicate the first term.